Good morning, guys. So I'll give you a quick update here. I am almost home. It's Saturday morning. And we had some technical difficulties yesterday. Loaded in the rain. And I mean some doing some serious raining. So I really couldn't video that. Uh, we loaded at Thompson Cat in Pensacola. It's a Cat 326 FLLR, which stands for long reach, as you can see the boom here. No, that boom is not touching that sign. However, I did bend the sign this morning. I needed to walk the machine forward as I was a little overweight on my quad for my permit. <clears throat> so whenever I unchained and moved the machine, I uh, kind of put a little curve to it, like a nice woman's waist. I don't like that sign anyway. I really don't like it. It weighs more than I do. So anyway, it's a pretty nice machine. So back to what happened. So after we loaded, we got going down the road. I don't know, maybe made it. Well, we made it to Defuniac Springs and we had an airbag blow out. Well, it didn't really blow out. Um, this really is Trail King's problem. We've already discussed it with them. They're going to deal with it. All of the bolts in the bottom side where it connects to the suspension come out. So it kicked out. And when it kicked out, it ripped a hole in the airbag, which left all of our caused us to lose all of our air so if you can imagine this plate right here sticking out here that's what happened so up in there is our new airbag so I don't imagine that uh, Kush puts those on that maybe they do I, I don't know I, I doubt it though. I'm pretty sure that the trailer manufacturer bolts those on. So I've got my quart of Diet Coke poison here. So what we had to do is <clears throat> we had to take the scale off over there. It says we have 50,000 pounds on our quad. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see what that says? 50,400. Had to take the hydraulic lines loose to be able to get that airbag out. And um, it was quite a little ordeal. But, uh, you know, the mechanic that did it had an interesting story. The guy's name was Buck. He was... Uh, pretty chipper but told me that he uh, used to work on offshore oil rigs as a mechanic and somehow or another lost his job which cost him about 50000 a year in pay and so that put him you know he ended up going to work at Love's so we've got 45,000 in chains. This machine weighs 69,000 pounds. It's not heavy at all. Um, machine set forward so we could keep it inside the trailer. And um, we're permitted for up to 10 feet to hang off the rear of the trailer. And you see we don't have that. So this here cribbing, whenever I put this boom down, I put it down hard enough to where it would lift the machine off the trailer. <clears throat> so that should be good to go. I stopped here to uh, check my chains and make sure everything's tight. 
because we're fixing to get on the scale and Florida can be hard to deal with. So it cost us $328. They charged us uh, for one hour, well, two men for a half hour, $59 and, uh, each guy. So what is that, 120 bucks? And then the airbag, I think, was a hundred and something dollars. They had it in stock. Somebody's gonna say, why isn't that timber tied down? Well, it's between the rails and it's wedged in between that piece of three quarter inch plate and the frame rail. And you can't even get it out without sticking a pry bar under it. So get over yourself with all of that shit. Nobody cares anymore. <clears throat> So yeah, that's what where we're at, what we're doing. Pretty nice machine. Um, really kind of a little agitated about the the um, bolts in the airbag. So I had the mechanic slide and check all of them. The flip axle has three bolts in in the bottom of every airbag, but the trailer only has two bolts in the bottom of the airbags except for the one that we put on so i don't know what the story is with that but <clears throat> they told us they would honor it and, you know i'm sure they will but we lost a lot of time and time is what kills you in any business losing time because if this truck's not loaded and rolling it's not making a nickel Unless you're laid over, and guys, I, I, I'm sorry, but you know, if anybody wants to know how much we got paid to lay over this truck with the crane, twelve hundred fifty dollars a day. That's what we get paid layover, which is you know not what the truck can do in a day, but that's what we get. So. If you ever have to lay over eight axles, you should be at least getting $1,250 per day. So, anyway, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. It's a Cat 326 FLLR. And I am headed home. I will spend the night at my house tonight and probably leave Monday morning. My wife is cooking chicken and dumplings. Doesn't that sound good? I have a wonderful wife. Super hot brunette. Two master's degree. Just amazing woman. Totally beautiful. I'm blessed, guys. The Lord blesses me every day. Some days he makes sure that I know all about my blessings by kicking out the airbags underneath the trailer. But, you know, truck's filthy from being in the nasty truck shop. But there's nothing I can do about that. So I was gonna just show you. Um, fire this here Briggs and Stratton up <clears throat> get my buck here show you this bill So they charged us um, $338. Better turn that down, somebody will get mad. $338, $59 for this guy, $59 for this guy, and there was a mechanic's apprentice who was uh I don't really know what he was doing. 
Um, I'm not, I, I don't know, but I wish him well. God bless you, young man. <clears throat> and then this is a Goodyear airbag part number, $189, total of $389.09, nope, $338.09. That's what they charged us. And then uh, something about a warranty, I, I don't really remember what he said about that. There's my other ticket, so yeah. $119 in shop labor, $189 for the bag, $22 in sales tax that we will not get back. And uh, that's where we paid them. So that's kind of how the cookie crumbles. And um, we still don't have our Virginia permit kind of expected that I would get it by the end of the day Friday we're permitted everywhere else uh, give tell you a little story about permitting in South Carolina so I sent the permit in to South Carolina through their website through their software and I permitted for 10 feet overhang She calls me and she says, your machine is 47 feet and your trailer's 56 feet. Why do you need overhang? And I'm like, well, ma'am, it's an RGN. It's not a flatbed. It doesn't just set up on top of the trailer. Like, you know, you can't utilize all of the trailer. And she never got it. She never understood that. She said, that doesn't make any sense. I'm like, it makes perfect sense. It's an RGN. You only have so many feet in the well to work with. I need to be able to extend off the rear of the trailer. And she didn't want to give it to me, but she finally did. And uh, she says, your permit will be $10. So I paid her. She emailed me my permit. And um, of course, Virginia, you know, they're still fumbling with their whatever they play with you know I don't know so Joe Biden is already canceling jobs of course we all knew that was going to happen fuel is on the rise we knew that was going to happen <clears throat> I guess the Keystone pipeline is done uh, so lots of lost jobs there and uh, shoving it right on up Canada's ass Hey, one question for you guys. What, if the left is so against the police and law and order, why didn't they just send a bunch of social workers to the inauguration instead of the National Guard and military? I mean, you know, social workers is the answer, so I don't know. Anyway, guys, um gotta push in my clutch or my truck's gonna shut off <clears throat> that is an uh, anti-idle feature so yep that's where we're at guys hey man I really appreciate all your comments I love all of them even the haters I love it man bring it on makes me feel loved love those haters and they're not really haters. They're just like me. They just say it like it is, and that's how they see it, and they're, they're exactly right. That's how you should say it. Spit it on out, man. Tell us how you feel. Get it on off your chest. You know, come on. Tell us, tell us what it's all about. So uh, that's it, guys. I'll make another video. Um, we'll do a driving video with the chest rig. Uh, although I don't know that it's going to go over the steering wheel. I, I might have to work on that. But uh, check out this little electric gym car here. Zoom in. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool right there. Snow cone. Anyway, guys, I'm going to hit the road. 
I'll be back. Thanks for watching.